Hi everyone and welcome to your Getting to Know Your Homepage demo. My name is Philippa and I'm the Sage and Tact account manager here at ITAS. There's so much to learn in Intact and every instance is different depending on your business's own operations and how they are using Intact. With so many features and modules available in Intact, it wouldn't make sense for me to cram it all into one video. So instead, we've opted for a short series of videos, walking you through it and where better to start than your homepage. In this video, we'll quickly run through your homepage and explain all the features you have available. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so this page should look very familiar to you all by now, but for anyone who doesn't know, this is your Sage Intact homepage. This will be the first page which opens up when you sign into your account. This page is also where Intact will take you whenever you click the home icon. So wherever you are in the system, if you need to cancel out and return back, you can do that to return back to your homepage by clicking the little house icon here. Okay, directly next to my house icon, you'll see I have a little star icon. And this star is what we call your favorites menu. And it'll give you the ability to favor any report or tasks or applications on your menu item that you commonly use. So you may want to add a star next to your everyday tasks and reports. This will save you time looking for them. You can add them here and access them nice and quickly when you need to, just by clicking the star next to them. You're also able to drag and drop these once you're there in your menu so you can have them in a usable order. On the other side of our house, you'll see the applications menu, which is a drop down. You've just seen me go into there. You're also able to drag and drop this menu. So if you're anything like me and like things to be in a certain order, you can bring that into your applications menu really easily. Now, one thing I will point out at this stage, is this is my demo and I have access to a lot of modules that you may not recognize in your own instance. And this is because they're additional modules and you may not have to be subscribed to them. So don't worry if you can't see everything on my list. Additionally, this also may be the case if your company hasn't given you permissions to certain aspects of the system, such as approvals, you may not see some areas. So this is going back to what I was saying at the start of the video, where every instance can look different. So we'll try and make these videos as open and varied as possible. Okay, so back to your applications menu then, you'll see a little blue plus icon next to some features. And this is a quick add feature and will allow you to go directly to an ad page for that task. So you can create a new supplier or a new item or a new report whenever you click the click add button. Okay, so you'll also notice that they will have an overview option in the corner and this gives you an overview of the module and the features available to you within that module. You can also access any of these tasks details within the overview by directly just clicking into them here. Most tabs will have a setup tab, and this is mainly used for your admins or for us when we're doing your configurations, and it's all the settings that sit behind that particular module. Your day-to-day -day tasks, however, will be on this all tab here. Okay, so just directly up from our applications menu, you'll find a drop-down option saying top level. If you don't already know, Sage and Tax is a multi-entity console, making it really easy for you to drop into different entities within the company, and then it'll roll them all up for some top-level reporting for you. You can restrict your user access to entities and also restrict postings at top level. I'd highly recommend getting to know your business's setup in terms of business structure, but also transactionally, which level you need to be operating for each task. Um, for example, for this, some customers, suppliers tend to be added at top level and um, some companies add them at entity level and it all depends how your company operates. Okay, you'll notice here as well we can have different colours so you can change the entities and this will help you determine which entity you're working in. So visually, um, a banner will come across the top of the screen in this colour. Okay, and then in the top corner we've got your company name and logo. Okay, so jumping over to the other side, then we've got some more features available. You'll have a bullhorn icon, and this icon will have announcements and messages across your business from Sage. You'll also see if you've got anything to approve, if you're an approver, or if anyone's written you a message on a feature within an app called Collaborate. Okay, next to the bullhorn icon, we have your username, and this is where you can click in to set up some of the preferences, such as your logout time, your time zones, your languages, anything like that. And just next to that, you'll have your help and support icon. So we'll give you direct access to the learning center and the help center. We'll discuss them in more detail later in the demo, but one of my personal favorites here is the help on this page feature. 
So wherever you're on a purchase invoice or a bank reconciliation or receiving a payment, if you do get stuck in, click this link, um, help on this page, and it'll open a new page that will send you to the exact page you need on the help centre. Um, I use this all the time, even now, it just saves so much time searching for what you need. It takes you straight where you need to be, and it has a detail of, of everything that's on that page. If you're not sure what, what you need to be filling in, um, you can get some help really quickly. Um, another one of my favourites on the homepage is this bookmark feature. This is quite handy, it's a little tab icon here. And what it'll do is allow you to bookmark a page, you can quickly go back to it when you need to. So imagining you have a query or an invoice that you need to flag with someone, but they're in a meeting or they're out of the office for the day, um, and you, you don't need to go searching for your ledgers again, you know, next time they're available, you can just quickly click this book, bookmark icon and it will save them here and you can just go and open up um, the query that you had. Um, which is quite handy too. Okay, next to this, you've just got a standard search feature. So you can search an amount or an invoice number to find what you need. But I would always recommend using the filtering um, to search where possible. And it will just bring you up some better information um, to help you find what you're looking for more easily. Okay, so we're getting through it then. Let's drop down to the actual home page itself and look at some of the bits that we have got down here. The main thing you'll see is this big product update section. And for those of you who don't know, Sage and Tap gives you quarterly automatic releases of new features. So this post will detail the latest release. You can click here and watch the video or read the notes and find out what's been added or what's been enhanced within this release. We are sending out blogs of all the new highlights. So where possible, we will get in touch with customers if a new feature has been added and it's something that we feel like would benefit them. One of the really cool things I think about these updates is they actually come from feedback from you guys as customers or us as consultants. So what happens is we'll recommend something to them that is missing in the system and they will work through things that have been uh, mentioned a lot or had the most requests. Um, and I think it's a really good way of letting you know that you've been heard and also giving you the assurance that whatever's not in touch at the moment might be in the future and on, on your new releases. Okay, so over here we have a list of your entities which is just a different way of accessing the entity than the top. So you also have your applications menu, which is again, is just a different way of getting in there from the overview page of your modules. Now this is a feature I mentioned briefly earlier called Intact Collaborate, and it's a core feature, it just needs to turn it on your company, so you may or may not have it enabled. If you do, this is the space that you can post messages through the business. Um, you can access in here, you don't have to have it in. If you haven't got it enabled and you think you might want it, just get in touch and I can pop it on or send you some more information. Um, they also have message boxes on um, invoices or transactions as well. So um, this is a sort of group messaging service, but you can have individual messages going on and you are able to add each other. So it's quite, quite a cool little tool. Um, okay, so scroll down then you'll see a space for resources. This is some quick access links into some of the features I've already mentioned, such as the Help Centre, which is an online search engine for all things intact. The community, which is where other customers ask questions and get answers. So if you're stuck on something, it might be worth checking there to see if the question has been asked before and if there's an answer. Next to that, you've got the Learning Centre. This is something you've hopefully already been made aware of, but if not, this is access to Sage online on-demand courses. So you'll all have your own log on, it's entirely self-paced, and I can actually recommend some really good 25-minute ones to get you started. I've got a little guide on that, so just reach out if it's something that you're interested in. Finally, we've got this CSV upload template information page, just telling you how you'll find some import templates and how getting the information into your intact system is going to be a lot easier. Okay, so the final section on your homepage then is just some links again at the bottom, some of the things we've already mentioned, so I don't I don't need to go over them again. You've got your help center release notes library, things like that. But one thing it does have, which is really useful video library, this is some Sage videos, a few minutes each, all different topics, all different categories. So if you have a look through those and see if anything useful, yeah, and hopefully that completes today's demo. If I feel like we've got a lot in there, see some of the stuff you may have already know. Hopefully you've learned some new bits as well though. So We've started off on your homepage. Keep your eyes peeled for the next videos, but follow on our social media pages or sign up to our newsletter. And as always, feel free to get in touch, give me some feedback, tell me what you think and what you want to see next. Okay, thanks for joining. See you again next time. Bye.